Hello, everyone. Jackie Tomlin here, and welcome to another episode of When Spirit Speaks podcast. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll start off with my contact information. If you guys are seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. Uh, you can contact me via email or via text message at 804-731-2302. If you're seeking uh, free readings, look for me on YouTube at youtube.com backslash psychic Jackie and now on TikTok at Jackie Tomlin and the number zero, all one word. Okay, guys, I want to also warn you of fake accounts. These fake accounts are using my photos, so make sure it is me that you're speaking to and understand I will never solicit you for a reading all right very excited we are wrapping up season three today thank you guys thank you for making it wonderful the audience is growing and i do want to give a shout out to my truck drivers out there i got quite a few of you now uh, i often joke with them that we are the online flying j here so appreciate you and the work that you do and every single one of you also keep your um, ideas and suggestions coming to me as we're getting ready to kick off season four we're getting ready to set up for that so yeah we are pushing pushing forward okay um the so eclipse is today today the 25th and you've got another one coming on the 28th today may be hitting you a little bit hard electronically or it may be hitting you in your energy okay but the 28th i have to say it's almost like that retro energy it's going to hit you with the past connection this is people from the past coming out of the woodwork out of the woodwork literally between the 28th and the 31st so be ready be ready it's the best thing i could tell you today i want to talk to you really quick about um making a reading fit okay and what i'm asking you is how does a reading resonate with you there is a significant difference between a personal reading and a general reading and what you get here on the podcast and what you get on youtube and tiktok and all my social media platforms is you get a general reading and these general readings are done by the zodiac okay sometimes yeah this is what we call the collective reading and sometimes those collective readings will switch a little bit as i switch audiences okay because i'm tuned into you and into your energy okay um honestly the worst thing a psychic can do is sugarcoat anything i'm always upfront and direct with you sometimes a little too blunt and i am aware of that okay but the worst thing you can do is try to make a reading fit now sun moon rising venus north and node cross watchers welcome god love your heart okay but the thing about it is i'm talking about forcing a reading to fit and let me give you an example okay let's say you have an interest your significant other is a leo and leo doesn't appear in your main zodiac sign and leo didn't appear in the next three zodiac signs but he appeared in the fourth one then you are forcing something to fit that is not there okay be very careful of that i mean like i said it's it, the general readings that it's a very large audience i try very hard to resonate with what's going on and what i am shown and uh but don't force something to fit for you okay most of the readings i do i'm gonna say are your story or something there is going to resonate with you but not all of them are your story some of those messages are going out to certain individuals and those certain individuals are certainly letting me know that okay and i appreciate that as well but like i said um just don't make things fit don't read into a reading more than that what is there okay but at the same turn on the flip side of that coin what i say to you generally comes into form but not the way you were expecting it and i hear that all the time okay so you take it for what it's worth so you know you guys are loving the um the messages from spirit we're going to continue with that i am going to continue with this in um season four in case you're wondering and we're going to run Aries through Pisces with a quick collective at the end. Now, this is Wednesday night. So Wednesday night, I am live on YouTube at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays and 7 p.m. on Sundays. To those that have taken the time to send a tip or donation, you are greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. You guys are seeking a personal reading, which is a reading directed at you and your questions and your situation. Don't forget, it is JackieTomlin.com. 
Okay, there's a menu of options over there. Offer uh, email, chat, videos. There's just phones. There's tons and tons of options over there. And it's a beautiful day here in Virginia. I hope it is beautiful where you're at. But I've talked to two of you today and it's snowing in your area. So y'all keep that snow to yourself. All righty. Let's get into the energies here. And like I said, don't let that eclipse hold you back today. May affect your sleep this evening, though. I can tell you that. Let's start with Aries. Aries, what do we have coming up for you? Aries, I don't know if y'all are planning a trip to the seashore. Perhaps you're making a beach room or something to do with the sea is what I'm seeing here. You guys are actually under a new beginning, okay? Uh, you're very excited about this, too. You're very, very excited about this. You've got a lot of people surrounding you here. Uh, very high drive for success. Uh, surround it with a healing energy. Some of you may be um, healing from a physical ailment. Maybe you've been sick a little under the weather. I know we're in flu and allergy season in general. Okay. I do have to say, Aries, that towards the end of the month, uh, be cautious and slow down, whether you're at work in a vehicle or at home, okay? You are on the right path and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. What is coming into fruition in the next week? Well, something you've been manifesting since spring of this year, but there's a little glimpse of your temper because there's a somewhat of a disappointment. Now, let me say this, that disappointment is actually going to turn into be a blessing in disguise. So don't fly off the handle too quickly. Your high drive for success is going to pay off. Now, you know, with the new beginning comes an ending. You cannot have a new beginning without an ending. And uh, upcoming, we do have you moving forward, new opportunities. Now, I really don't want to throw out all these signs because it's like half the Zodiac. But let me tell you what I've got. I've got Leo, Capricorn, Virgo, another Aries. New opportunities are coming. You're very anxious. You're very high strung right now. Okay. So this is spirit asking you to relax, breathe, take some time to yourself and just have that knowing that everything you want, wants you, and it's all going to fall into place because everything here does say that you are on the right path. All righty. Let's get on to my Taurus. Taurus, I see you doing something with a flag. Perhaps you're hanging a flag, um, getting ready to set a flag post, but something to do with a flag, okay? Uh, you need to stop beating yourself up. There's been something, you know, we love and learn from our mistakes. None of us are perfect, including me. None of us are. So, you know, move forward from it. The, the shoulda, woulda, coulda, you need to let it go, okay? <laughs> you need to let it go. New day, new dawning, new opportunities, new things coming in to you. Okay. And we have you getting lost in music. Perhaps some of you are musicians. I want to throw that out there as well. And a new emotional path. Um, someone coming back around. Someone coming back around. Um, this has a summertime pull to it. It could be a fire sign, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. But that's the kind of pull I have. The signs that I do have here that may resonate with you are going to be Aquarius, Capricorn, and Pisces. You're under a new beginning. And you're also under a high energy of manifestation of drawing into you what you want to see happen. Now, when I see this energy, this does say that you can make this happen fairly quickly. Okay. So make sure you keep your energy and all very positive because you could draw that negative into you just as well. And you don't want to go down that road. Okay. So remaining positive, you do. This is a prime example of what I was talking about. You're ones that are going to get what you want, but it's coming in a form you're totally not expecting. Totally not expecting. And um, you also need to know that everything you want is within reach. This is fall in general and fall proves to be a strong new beginning for you more than one in many many areas so take the time smell the roses enjoy things are looking good for you all right coming up next we have my gems gemini what does spirit have for gemini oh you're visiting a lighthouse okay well y'all are quite busy with the sea in my signs today 
All righty. Let's see what we have for Gemini. Gemini, you know, your energy is really good right now, but you get stuck in your head and you get harped up on something and you're your own buzzkill. Okay. You pull that energy straight down. Be warned of that. Be warned of that. There's something here to do with a pet. There's a new pet. There's a pet that needs attention. Pet going to a vet, maybe feeling a little under the weather, but nothing traumatic there. Uh, I want to throw out that a Taurus or a Leo may or may not resonate with you. Okay, but definitely get out of your head. Don't get stuck in overthinking things. Um, you are, this is a week about getting things under control. Okay. And I'm not going to say y'all are control freaks, but Gemini, you're kind of a control freak. Okay. Um, someone close to you coming in with an unexpected offer of assistance and get ready for a celebration. This could be like birthday, anniversary, something like that. Any delays that occur are in your favor. And I know you get frustrated, but remember, you could be preventing an accident. So just roll with it. You can expect, really, victory, success, good luck and abundance, and getting what you want in the next week. And matters of the heart, I'm seeing intensity and love. This applies to my singles as well as to my couples. And for some of you, you are heading to a new beginning in love. Get ready for a fast place. And yeah, some of you, it's a, like I said, it's getting things under control. It's about taking back your power. It's about a lesson well learned. And you're no longer allowing yourself to be used or walked on. Okay. Um. A new emotional path is what you're setting yourself up for. Your next strong new beginning is a winner. And if you're outside the U.S., just to give you an idea, I think our first day of winter here in the States is December 21st. It doesn't mean it'll be the 21st, but that's the era I see your next strong, powerful new beginning. Also, <clears throat> right here at the end of the month, end of the month, first part, first week of November. Gosh, I can't believe we're going in November. There's going to be some kind of secrets being revealed. Something's coming to the circus surface for you not the surface all righty up next we have cancer what do we see going on for cancer the answer is somebody's doing something different with their hair new hairdo new hairstyle something different going on with the hair maybe some highlights something like that cancer what do we have for you okay you are also under total victory and the help that you need is on the way there's a high drive for success and you're going to get what you want. Um, in regards to your love life or your significant other, whether this is someone you're interested in or someone you're currently partner with, there's going to be some secrets revealed there. Uh, you're also under that heavy energy of manifestation. So let's keep thoughts and feelings positive as you draw into you what you want to see happen this is a week about getting what you want okay getting what you want and you may be manipulating things to get what you want just to throw that out there all right energies that may or may not resonate is going to be a scorpio an Aries, or a gemini may or may not resonate with you okay um expect new opportunities towards the month end going into november new opportunities being presented it's time for you to make decisions that you've been putting off for some of you is decluttering it's um putting away things it's it's yeah i'm really going to go with decluttering decluttering things are just piling up there's new money coming in you can also expect sudden changes and i think that you actually feared these sudden changes but they're going to go a lot smoother than what you're anticipating there is the signing of a legal document that is going to spring on a new beginning. There will be a small wish uh, granted, and this is the beginning of a new emotional path for you right here towards the end of the month. Okay. It says you need to stop procrastinating, and I'm going back to the decluttering and making decisions. It's time to take action. And it's moving forward and leaving a past emotional upset behind. In other words, kind of boxing up mentally what you've been through, what has exhausted you, boxing it up, putting it on the shelf as you declutter and get ready to embrace a strong new beginning. It looks like it's coming up in the month of October for my cancers. All righty. 
Moving forward for my Leos. What do we have coming up for Leos? Particularly the letter E, like the name Elliot. Okay. So what do we have going on for my Leos? Leos, you're in a whirlwind. Quick moving, busy, 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 busy is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Um, another fire sign may resonate with you, which is going to be Aries, another Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, may very well be part of your life in the next upcoming week. Other signs that I do have present here for you is going to be a Scorpio. Thought I saw another sign. Yeah, just a Scorpio. Oh, and a Virgo. Scorpio and a Virgo may resonate with you. Uh, you are also under a new emotional path, and some of you are healing, whether it's a physical ailment. Or just, I really want to say instead of healing, that maybe you're feeling the shift in your energy, uh, particularly with this eclipse going on, that you're starting to feel a shift in energy, but you're very upbeat and very high vibration. There will be a small wish granted and you are coming into a new beginning. It's not right now, but I think it's more towards this weekend. So I'll throw that out there as well. Also looking at musicians or someone getting lost in the lyrics of music. And with that new beginning, of course, there's an ending because you cannot have a new beginning without an ending, okay? You're also looking at the signing of a legal contract or a document. You're very excited about this. If you are separated from someone or something, Leo, you need to know it's temporary. It's just temporary, okay? Um, new money coming in and sudden changes. Now, there's something here, and I think this is a person, not a situation, but it's something that's going to cause you to dig for your patients. That's more towards the end of the week, end of the month, possibly. There's going to be a good business deal presented to you, okay? A high drive for success, and ultimately, I see y'all ready to celebrate and getting what um, what you want. But this end of the month coming up, is more about major changes, sudden changes, sudden, quick, rapid are the words I want to use. And whatever it is, it's very high vibrational. And like I said, you're going to be ready to celebrate. So yeah, it looks really good from a Leo's. All righty, let's see what we have going on from our Virgos. What does spirit have for the Virgos? Y'all are some pulling a prank on somebody, some kind of trickster, something like that. Some of you might be into um like magic, like magician magic, you know, pulling the rabbit out the hat. May you resonate for my Virgos. All right. Virgos, you've got an ending coming up. You know what comes with that ending. It's going to be a new beginning that follows. Okay. Um, this is one of those cases that what really looked like a disappointment, a total and complete letdown, has really turned into a blessing in disguise. Um, there is, wow, powerful, powerful new beginning for my Virgos within the next 72, the next 72 hours, Virgo. You've got a powerful new beginning. Um, this is leading you to total victory. Okay. And it says to get ready for a fast pace. Things are going to change for you very quickly. Some of you are looking at a trip out of state or looking at doing some quick travel. Uh, fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius may resonate with you here. Okay. Um, this is something that, that began in spring that you're going to complete here in fall is what it's saying here. Uh, and perhaps summer, maybe someone you got involved with in summer. There is definitely intensity and love here. Definitely intensity and love. Uh, Virgo, you're not a very expressive sign when it comes up to talking about how you open up and feel and express, but I do see you doing so. You're like pouring your heart out to someone. Expect new opportunities. Expect positive thinking. You need to know this new beginning has placed you on the right path. Your drive for success in regards to your working career is off the chart and it's going to be recognized for it. So move forward. Stop procrastinating. You only start feeling alone and questioning yourself when you're alone and you start dwelling on things. So no dwelling on things. Uh, and it's time to make decisions that you've been putting off 
let's see. Yeah. And you're about to manifest. You're about to manifest uh, everything you've been wanting and desiring. It's going to be right there at your fingertips. And now what do they say? It's go time. It's go time. But uh, work and career, definitely looking strong for you guys. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have coming up for my Libras. Libra, I have the color purple. The color purple may resonate with some of you this week. Mm, no sitches. Unexpected company, Libra. Let's see what else we have. Purple. Yeah, definitely the color purple. The letter C. Okay, we have your new beginning is now. This is like your glow up. This is your time to shine. You are in a new beginning as you hear this, okay? Now are you in a new beginning? You're on the right path. Now you have also got a message here coming in in the next 72 hours. Go be intensity in your love life as well. And then let's go on out to like that 15 day mark. There's some kind of glow up at work. So definitely things going in your, your direction. But I have to admit, you're not going to feel like it. You're going to feel some scattered energy around you. You're probably going to think I'm crazy that things are going to go your way, but they actually are because the help that you need is actually on the way. Okay. There will be a lesson well learned here. And the same of what it was a disappointment is a blessing in disguise. You can expect good luck and abundance. Okay. So with this new beginning, this ending, you're about ready to celebrate this ending. So I'm not sure what you were waiting for then, but it's coming to an end. Don't get hung up in the woulda, shoulda, coulda on a lesson well learned because it was that it was a lesson okay life lessons it happens to all of us signs that may resonate with you actually the only sign i see jumping out is the capricorn uh new money is coming you might have to dig for your patience here towards the end of the month in regards to your finances okay it's going to get better it's going to get better. It's slow and coming. You know, when you need money, it never comes quick enough, right? But it does show that what you need will be provided. So also expect some secrets to be revealed. Let it go. Don't harp on this. Don't stir up anything because of it. Okay. The message is very clear to let it go. I believe someone's looking for a reaction from you. That's why they're going to be revealed. Overall, I'm looking at new. New, 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 everything new. And one of those new things that I see in addition to the new beginning is going to be new opportunities, okay? Let's move forward with my Scorpios. Scorpio, wow, we got the color red for you. Red in the letter S and the number three. Red, S, and three. Scorpio. Okay, same thing. What you've been manifesting to, since spring is now coming into fruition for you here in October. Okay. You guys may be attending a, a live music venue, a concert, something, something here that I see you buying tickets to. Okay. And I have the impression it's music. It could be something different. It could be a play or something like that. But I see you purchasing tickets. Um, you're in a very mild energy. Very mild energy, very good energy. Want to throw out there a Capricorn may or may not resonate as well as an Aquarius and a Libra. This is about getting things under control. You're making some pretty hefty plans for the end of the year, first part of the year. And you may start working on them now. So this tells me they may be the beginning of projects. Uh, you're remaining positive. You need to know that the help that you need is actually on the way. This is about getting what you want. But when it comes to reuniting with someone from the past, there is a strong message here for you to say no. Now you take that as it resonates, whether it's family, friends, or a lover from the past, but there's a strong need to say no. There is some intensity in the love life and perhaps a trip out of state. That trip may be, have a little bit of a delay attached to it, but nothing detrimental, okay? Um, there is a new emotional path and total victory. Towards the end of the month, first part of the month, you're going to feel the jiggity. You've got that scattered energy around you, wondering if you're on the right path. And spirit says, yes, you are. It, but expect sudden changes. And you know what? I have a feeling... You're coming. It doesn't show me yet, 
but it looks like you're coming into a pretty hard redirect in November. Okay. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that for you. All right. Up next, we have the fellow Sagittarius. Fellow Sagittarius working with crystals, cleansings. This is what I'm seeing here from a Sagis. What do we have going on? What are we clearing out? We're clearing out old energy, it looks like. Sagittarius. Man, you are just happy, go lucky, and doing you. Um, your happiness is going to irritate the souls of others, just so you know. There's going to be some kind of jealousy surrounding you, okay? Um, the same with you. Don't don't overthink things. When you overthink things, you tend to bring your energy way down. You know, just roll with the flow. I like the energy. You've got a good flow here with this energy. So roll with that. Now, some signs that may or may not resonate with you are going to be a Libra, an Aquarius, and a Virgo. Okay. You're headed towards total victory. And any delays that you've been through are a thing in the past. Okay, so some of these delays still in your favor, but it's showing me the delays are over. Okay, um, there's going to be some intensity in a relationship and it's going to place you on the right path. And there, I see you have caution. You've got your guard up. You've got your guard up. Maybe you've got some trust issues or something brewing with this person because yes, Sagittarius, you know this person. Uh, spirit is rolling in someone from your past. So it's someone, I don't know if you've been connected with them before, if you've been romantically involved with them before, but you're very skeptical. I think you're objective enough to give this person a chance, but you're very skeptical about this. You also, in regards to business, you've got a high drive for success. And you know what? Be ready for major changes because of that, okay? It's actually getting what you want coming in a form you're not expecting. Lots of eyes are on you, particularly at your job or your pay, place of employment. Uh, the help that you need is on the way, okay? And you're also in the right time that there's going to be a lot of secrets that are revealed to you. And some of these secrets are going to trigger your anger and your temper. So I want to throw that out there as well. Um, but overall, it says to move forward, stop procrastinating, keep doing things that you're doing, especially, you know, a lot of you've got your, your insights are just zoomed in and tunnel vision on your work. That's going to be really good for you. Um, but you're just in a great spot right now. So that don't happen too often. So enjoy. All righty. Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Capricorn, you're packing, you're moving, you're relocating, you're traveling, you're doing something, but you're packing, okay? You are also getting things under control. We've got a little bit of a patience problem, which I'm really surprised because you're one of the most patient signs in the Zodiac, but I'm seeing some patience problem here. Okay, uh, signs that may or may not resonate with you. And there's a lot of them. We have a Scorpio, Gemini, Pisces, and Cancer may resonate with my Capricorns. There's going to be a small wish granted and there's some fear and worries leaving. There's going to be the signing of a legal document or contract and intensity and love. Now, this to me, you take it as it resonates. I'm looking at either a marriage or a divorce, uh, but definitely some type of new beginning. You are getting things under control. Um, you're going to have to dig for your pa patience. I'm here to steer clear of family drama. Okay. Uh, you're surrounded by healing energy. And something about just lay low till, till everything dies down. And that's going to resonate with someone out there. Uh, good news is going to arrive and you'll be ready to celebrate. So it tells me this is something you've been waiting on. And I have a feeling it has to do with your money. Expect sudden changes. You're also under that powerful manifestation energy. So keep it positive. Uh, and you need to say no. Okay. And when I say, say no, it's not really necessary. Somebody using or taking advantage of you. It's like, when you don't want to do something, if you don't want to do it, just say no, you you're an adult. You don't not going to belly up and die there. They'll be fine. If you don't want to do it, if you feel like you're overextending yourself, just say no. All right. On into Aquarius. Let's see what we have for my octopus here.
Aquarius, you know, you're under a powerful new beginning as well. Mm, very, very intensity, intensity and love. Someone moving in, someone moving out. Okay. If you're currently not in a relationship, someone is about to present you with that opportunity. If you are in a relationship, you're, you're getting ready to level up because I'm seeing really strong energy here in regards to love and my Aquarius. Uh, you're getting things under control. Got a lot of scattered energy around you. You know, you're feeling the jiggity like a cat on a hot tin roof, but you're going to be fine. You're just very anxious at this time. You can also expect the signing of a legal document or a contract. Some of you are getting ready to get married, like on a whim, on a whim. Um, you need to take just that time to make decisions you've been putting off. Uh, you're wondering if someone is using you and I can tell you they are not. Okay, so hopefully that'll ease someone's mind out there. Fear and worries are leaving and you can expect good news and abundance. You can also expect sudden changes. I'm really picking up a residential move or someone moving in or out the home. So some kind of movement on the home front and some kind of clarity or confirmation is going to come in right at the end of the month. And this confirms something you have suspected or thought you knew. And I can tell you this, whatever confirmation is coming in, it is what you thought but not the form you thought it was coming in. Okay. So that's what I have going on for Aquarius. Last but not least, we have my Pisces. Pisces, you're always at the end. Always, always, you know, saving the best for last, right? Pisces. I see you surrounded by a lot of people. A lot of people. The month of May. So you may be making plans for the month of May, particularly travel plans. Let's see what we have here. Pisces. Yep. Lots of people. Endings. You need to work on your self-esteem and your motivation. There needs to be some of that journey inward going on here. Okay. Um, for some of you, you're looking at a new beginning in love, probably in the spring. Um, and God, there's a ton of people here, ton of people here. If you are separated from someone or something, it is temporary. Okay. Let me give you an idea of these people I'm looking at. I'm looking at Aries, Gemini, Sagittarius, Libra, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. I mean, it's over half the Zodiac here. So it's kind of a lot of people, but it is the strong message here for you is the journey and we're taking the time to work on yourself. And it's kind of like in regards to love, you can't make someone else happy if you're not happy with yourself. So right now that journey and we and making yourself happy or finding where you want, then everything else falls into line. This is definitely a week about getting what you want though. Expect sudden changes. And I do want to use the word sudden, quick and rapid. Okay. Um, it's about getting things under control. Some of you are surrounded by healing energy. Uh, some of you, this is healing of emotional healing where someone has done you wrong. And for some of you, it could be a phys physical healing. Maybe you've been feeling a little bit under the weather. Getting what you want comes in a form that you're not expecting. Okay. And if you are separated from someone or something, it does show that it's just temporary. You will be reuniting and reconnecting with someone from your past. Now, this person could be family friend or it could be a lover. So take it as it resonates. But that person is coming in. I'm going to say between now and the first week of November. Okay. And you can also look for a good business deal. Whatever this business deal is, you're super, super excited about. Super excited about. Also, for my Pisces, there's some type of vehicle here. So some of you are getting a new car. All righty, that's what I've got. That's what Spirit has for the Zodiac. So let's see if we can get some messages here for the collective, for all my listeners out there. And don't remember, remember guys, if you're seeking a personal reading, it is JackieTomlin.com. There's a menu of options over there. I appreciate and love every single one of you. Let's see what we have from Spirit for the collective. What do we have going on here? Wow. This is a week of taking back your power. Two eclipses, lots of intensity and emotions. You're going to have to dig for your patience and you're going to have decisions to make. You know, this is pertaining to someone you know, someone you're getting ready to reunite with. Someone that may be provoking some emotions in you. 
everything you want in, within reach. There will be a small wish granted. It's about taking back your power. The energies I have here are Scorpio, Libra, and Virgo may resonate with you. Uh, new money is coming into play. Some of you are going to be asked to sign a document or a legal contract. So know that that is here as well. Um, remain positive. You're very guarded. You're very defensive. And I'm not sure if it's towards this person from your past or if it's towards your family member. But I'm going to ask you to relax and just let go. Relax and let go. Spirit says just roll with the flow. Don't ever analyze everything. You know, that's that whole, when you turn things over to spirit, let spirit guide you. And spirit is never going to steer you wrong. And that's exactly what I'm seeing here. Also, you need to know that new money is coming in or what you need will be provided for. Probably won't be in excess, but you'll get what you need. All right, gang, that's what I have for you this week. Thank you for another fantastic season over here as we get ready to set up for season four. You guys have a fantastic week ahead, and I will see you soon. Bye.